So how much of an impact Jason Verrett and Kerry Hyder's had on the team, man? I'm going to let y'all go ahead and start this one off. Um, I mean, as John Middlecoff says, I mean, John Middlecoff calls him Khalil Hyder Jr., you know, as a <laughs> Khalil Mack type guy. <laughs> Hyder is a effort defensive end, defensive tackle. He's your do-it-all guy on this defensive line, and yeah. I want him back. I, I, I yeah. compared him to Ronnie Blair, and, you know, I think if you could have two Ronnie Blairs on one team, Ronnie Blair himself and a Kerry Hyder, That'd be ideal. I was hoping Ronnie would come back this year because I, I think that would have vastly improved this team um, going forward. But, yeah, you got to keep Kerry Hyder around, and I think their impact is felt. Kerry Hyder has more sacks as a niner than D4 does mm-hmm. for yep. 126 to the cost. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's um and, it's and, a guy who worked his ass off, and I, I the impact is felt weekly. You see him every week. Mm-hmm. What you got, Blair? I mean, we spoke about Jason Verrett earlier. I mean, we are starting to approach uh, the talks of, is this guy a lockdown? I mean, it just, it, balls aren't going that way. I don't see many touchdowns going over his head. Obviously, Jason Verrett is scoring pretty high. He's a top five corner. My guy is higher, though. This week. I mean, we about to see this week, though. Se- ob- it's obvious. 7.5 sacks. Like, just tell me another player on the defensive line that is having that type of production. I mean, I, Ken Law's close. Just, he, he's he's not getting there, but Ken Law's pressures is up there, man. He he's a he's a stud, right? Man. And so it's just it, it's felt he has to come back. Um, I think the defensive line coach is a big reason why Hyder is being as successful as he is. Uh, same coach that he had in Detroit. You have to bring them back, and that goes into why you can't send out so much money with this quarterback situation. There's a lot of small pieces. It all comes back to the quarterback. You no, know, there's yeah. a lot of small pieces that I would like to see back in the 2021 season. Yeah, there's certain guys we're going to make hard decisions on too. I, I like Hyder. I, I also, um, you know, I just like the fact that he's, he, you know, he's kind of one of these guys who's been traveling around just trying to find the spots. We're going to get him on the deal. Um, we got a great D-line coach, so let's just be real about it. I mean, he's coaching them up. Um, when we're healthy, him, with him, I still think we need to draft a, a second-round defensive end that's special Agreed. to go to go Agreed. against go with Bosa. But I, I do think he's a good depth guy. I think he can come in um, and, and really cause havoc, and that's what I like, man. And Jason Barrett, I mean, I see him in, in – I'm glad when he came over, when he's with the Chargers – I was I was impressed then. So I knew when he came yeah. over, I was I had my you know my ceiling was high for him. I was happy. He was just hurt, hurt, hurt. <laughs> and then when he got in the Steelers game, he was getting whooped. You know, like when he was getting whooped in the Steelers game, man. That that to me told me okay, this is not that guy right now. But he needs to be healthy. But I seen the swag like this year, man. I seen the confidence when he came back. It didn't seem like we rushed him back. It seemed like he just came in. He was healthy. It was organic type of feel. And I could just tell right now. Between him and Richard, we're going to see some balls go at Verrett this week that we normally wouldn't see. They'll normally go out to E-Man, and E-Man is terrible in the slot, by the way. We got to get him out of the slot immediately. Uh, I know he was just helping out because of the emergency situation, but he is definitely a deep third guy. And I don't know if how many people understand yeah. that, but he is hit. The way his hips are set up, his bank account, his mm-hmm. hip bank account is set up. He, he can't really <laughs> – he's not really fluid in them hips to be turning around and, 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 and playing any time man covers in or out. It breaks. He's not really there yet. But Jason Verrett, mm. man, I, I'm so proud of uh, Keep him. Of, of Jason Verrett, man. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to bring this up to show everybody too, man. He's uh, – they got him up there, man. They had him up there, top five. I know we mentioned it before. Um, but that's pro ballish right there. Um, if, yeah. if he's getting this type of attention, man, that means he's getting attention uh, throughout the the whole NFL, and hopefully he can make the top 100. Um, I look forward to guys like that making uh, number ninety or number 99 or number 100, <laughs> Jason Verrett. Whatever. You know what I mean? Come up, sneak up in that thing, man. That, that's all I'm saying, man. Give him some love. Yeah, and we were getting killed before he got before he was you know put into the position. We were getting killed, yeah. like I. I don't even I don't even want to talk about <laughs> what was the name Allen Brian Allen. It was just it was just terrible. Yeah, Brian Allen and then you and I think okay. Hav was talking about this. I really thought Akilo was the one. Akilo was the one that decided he didn't want to come in but um as we were learning that was a coaching decision. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah. So look yeah, here, man. 
Yeah, yeah. 